Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we are ready to get this match underway. First match of the day. We have Gold Division singles for you. We have Lou Puyet, uh, Lee Puyet and Brad Hornshaw. This is an A-side match. Final eight players left on the A-side. I'm your host, Kevin Ross. And Sherry will be along shortly. We are playing CSI Rules 9-Ball, except for the fact that we're doing Rack for Your Opponent instead of Rack Your Own. It is alternate break. Nine on the break counts as win in all six pockets. Jump cues are allowed. Three foul rule is in effect. Magic racks are allowed. Overhead camera provided by LittmanLights.com. Thanks, Mike Littman. All right, here we go. Brad Hornshaw with the break. Racking requirements. One in the front, nine in the middle. The other balls must be placed at random, so no pattern racking. The two ball does not have to be placed at the back. He really whacked him. Hit him full whack. Yep. Uh, he's, Brad's another one of those tall guys in the room. He's at least a couple inches over six foot. Yeah, he's a tall guy. Really get some leverage on that backswing and whack. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting down to the last uh, last few players in all of these singles divisions. Whittling down the field. So this is the final eight on the A side for this division. Sweet. Yeah, these balls are sitting nice, pretty nicely open. Brad's, Brad's one of those players that uh, he is very deliberate in every movement, and um, he's not. You're not going to see him rush through anything. It's going to take it really. Right. He takes his time and makes sure. You know, he's very deliberate with everything he does. And good morning, Stephen Fair. Good morning, Tony. Uh, good morning, Ramil. Good plus, morning, Tyson. Morning, 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 morning. And good morning, Yadira. Yeah, you know, the guy's lucky to even be walking. Him and his wife were in a really nasty uh, motorcycle accident. The Puyettes? Uh, no. Hornshaws. Yeah, the Hornshaws. Oh. Yeah, he looks like a biker. Yeah, they were in the laid up in the hospital for quite a while at... Uh, uh, the one in uh, the main one in Seattle. Uh, Harbor Harbor View? View, yeah. Yeah, the main uh, trauma center for Seattle. Yep. Well, all, um, it's good to see you up and walking <clears throat> around, Brad. Yep, all kinds of broken bones, and pins and screws and nuts and bolts. And so <laughs> even if he even if he didn't move around kind of slow before, he will now. Yeah. But it's good just to be up moving. Yep. Oh, well, good morning. Welcome in just in time. Thank you very much. He got here just in time. Yes, he did. To catch the first uh, match of the day. Yeah, we do. And I see we do have that bonus coverage going. Yep, we got uh, two streams going. Yep. To double your viewing pleasure. Yep. All matches today will be a side. Tomorrow, just about everything will be either uh, winter side finals or finals. 
Oh, nice little shot there. That worked out. Nicely done. And that starts uh, at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, all of our finals going out. And don't don't fret if there's somebody you know that's playing one of those and you don't get to see them on a stream. Their match is being recorded. Matches are being recorded. And also we have DVR features on our streams also, so you can go back and watch. Yeah. Yeah, but those ones that are recorded will go up after we get back home, but they are being recorded so that you can, you will eventually get to see them. Oh, yeah, you were talking about the finals that yeah. we're recording. That's right. Yep. So, yeah, some matches will be recorded only and not live streamed. Yeah, but, you know, we are getting extra equipment here and everything so that it all will at least be up eventually. And Yeah, you'd think having five cameras here would be enough, but nope, got to bring in some more. <laughs> And the next bid will be bidding for doing three tables. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Break and run by Brad Hornshaw. Way Very to, nice, Brad. Way to set the tone our first game. Yep. Schnook wins, giving away a couple of predator cues. Uh, it says Sabres. I believe it's provided by Sabres. I thought those were Predator cues. Yeah, Predator. Yeah, it has the Predator logo right on them. Yeah, they are. They bought them from Seabirds. That's right. So, yeah, swipe your Winter Circle player's card. That gets you an entry. You can do it once a day to get entries into this drawing. Free drawing. No purchase necessary. Just doesn't cost you a penny. Just swipe your card. Get a free cue. Can't beat that. Who doesn't want a free queue? Yeah, one of those is going to be given away. It's at 6 p.m. tonight, and uh, the other one. The one I saw was three. I saw 3 p.m. on the flyer. Well, Darren was questioning what because he said one was 3 p.m. One said 3 p.m. One said 6. So, okay. this so all we know it's late be, afternoon yeah. or evening <laughs> today. The first one will be given away, and it's a little bit shy of a $700 value. The second one is uh, like an $1,100 value, and that one will be given away Saturday. I remember the combined value of the two cues was about two grand. So yep. I think one was like twelve hundred and one was eight hundred or something like that. But it was just about two grand for the two of them together. For a free entry, can't beat that. Uh, for tracking, tracking what you're spend, you know, getting getting a card and scanning it. Use it when you're gam when you're out there on the floor gambling, buying food, whatever, because the casino tracks what the pool players are spending, and that a percentage of what they make is how they determine what um, what money they add to this event. All right, so we have Lee at the table, trying to return the favor of Brad's break and run. You're gonna try to. Return with his own. A nice shot on the one to start with. He's got pretty good on this two. It's not the easiest of shots, but the three's right there, so let's him concentrate on the two more. He hit that nice, and he's, eh. Okay on this three. He can just roll this into that left corner. Even if the cue ball hits that seven, he'll have a shot on the four on the side. As long as he doesn't get hooked behind the seven is really the only thing you really have to worry about. I don't think there's a scratch to the corner. No. Welcome in, Gary. Good morning to you. Oh, I think he was thinking that seven was going to stop the cue ball. No, and it did not. It did not. Well. All right. Do it again. Yep, make it happen. Welcome, Marshall Craft. Yeah. And Gary and Rick. And Rick Jones. Rick can't hear us. I know. He doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to hear what we have to say about him.
All right, brings Brad to the table with a bit of a mess to look at here. All right, what are you doing? Are you rearranging, uh, rearranging the table over there so give Brad some room? Trying to uh, get my uh, my match set up here for my dinner I'm going to win. Uh, okay. He, he called me out to uh, play for dinner. I told him I don't do McDonald's, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I am not cheap. <laughs> oh, he's got the breakout. Nice shot there, Brad. Yeah. And a shot on the five. That's not an easy one. You got a back cut on the five. Not an easy shot, but a hey, shot. he's got a he's got a chance. Yeah, he's at the table. This is going to be all about speed control. And don't put too much right spin on this. Too much right spin will put you right into that nine ball. So you just want to follow maybe just a hair of right spin, and that'll get you closer to that corner pocket and further away from the nine. That was a tough shot. All right, brings the lead to the table. A pretty makeable shot in this five to start with. Oh, get that cue ball out of there. All right, Brad's going to get another chance at this. It didn't listen. You even told it what ball to get out of there. I did tell it, and it wasn't listening. I guess I don't have the touch that you do, I guess. Actually, no, the balls don't listen to you either. Well, no, they do. They just, they, they are, they're like genies, you know. They got a sense of humor. I thought it was the player that listened to you, not the balls. Well, maybe. All right. Or they're like those lawyer genies that, uh, yeah, twist your words around on you. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, you just said get out of there. You didn't say who or what. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't go in there, you know, talking to the cue ball, but you got to say cue ball. Yeah, Brad's come up just a little short here. He's got kind of the wrong angle on this eight. So you can either try to try to kill this cue ball or try to come around the nine. And by kill, I mean just high right, go to the rail, and back out with right spin. I or think just, I like coming behind it and just shoot the nine up in the corner. Or just come around three rails back to the middle of the table. That Brad's, Brad's more of a roller. So he may, it looked like he was looking at even going and shooting it in the other side, uh, the other side pocket, just rolling in behind it. He, he's one, you know, very much into the, you, you don't move the ball anymore than you have. No, he, is, he was looking at the angle. Come on out. Oh, come on, get there. Get legs, you slow table. <laughs> uh, it's, the table's anything but slow. Yeah, no, <laughs> not slow. Cyclop cue ball plus... Fast cloth means we. It's in. Center of the hole. Yep. Uh, I, th I think Brad needs a longer cue, though. His, <laughs> he is gripping just outside of the uh, the, the butt ring. Well, Ernie Amori, uh, he made a cue stick that's like 63, 64 inches long over there. So maybe we should go get an Ernie yeah. Amori. But if you watch where, I mean, he's playing with an average length cue, and they may be a little bit longer than some. But, yeah, his hand is almost just outside of that, that, uh, that butt cap. Mm-hmm.
your fun day sponsors. Thank you, everybody. Give him full whack, Brad. All right, Brad with the break. Okay, not full whack. Three quarter whack. Man, that was a nice break. He was holding the cue ball there, too. All right, he's made a ball. He has a shot on the one, not an easy shot. Isn't that what happened the first rack? It was a shot, but no, no, I know. That was another one. Uh, I might be rolling yesterday over to today in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Brain's not fully awake yet. Need an injection of coffee stat. No, I'm in the process of feeding it right now. It'll be better once I finish eating. All right. Cut this one in. Come back and forth between that four six. Try to get the cue ball right in the middle of the table. That's going to be a little firm unless he hits the four. All right, that works. Four ball helped him out there. So Lee's a pretty quick player, and, I, and usually quick players, they don't really like playing slow players, so hopefully that won't affect Lee too much. I don't mind myself. I don't mind playing the guy that takes his time. Doesn't bother me, but some players it does. It's a nice shot. Yeah. Well, Brad's not slow sitting there thinking about what he's doing and everything. He his 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 root his pre-shot routine everything yeah. is where he takes his time. Mm-hmm. You've got players that will sit there and stand there staring at the table for five minutes waiting for a road map to jump out of the cloth form or something. <laughs> that bothers me <laughs> when you just sit there staring. <laughs> really? you got ball in hand on the nine, dude. <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the big mystery? <laughs> yeah, but playing slow players used to bother me because I, I'm a, I'm a fast-paced shooter too. Now I just watch another table or listen to the music bopping around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's drawn out of here and wants to miss, miss this nine ball. A little helping hand off the five. And uh, he needs it to slow, slow. Uh, well, that's, that's nice. Per that's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect angle to come back yeah. to the five. Even though he rubbed the five, he's got the perfect angle to get down there for it that now. Wor that worked out. That'll do. That'll do. Get away from that nine. Yeah, they are not playing a race to 11 over on that other table. No, they are not. It's the one thing I forgot to change was the race. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. Oops. Let's see, bronze one is playing a race to five. And I just noticed it, and I looked up, and Melissa's like, they're not playing a race to 11, are they? <laughs> no. All right. Now, uh, unfortunately, Brad's ended up with the wrong angle on the six, and it's only he only has just a little bit of angle, so he's really going to have to muscle this ball around. I mean, it would have been better had he gone like a diamond farther. Then he'd have more angle. Then it'd be easier to go up and down the table. But 
He's pretty flat on this angle, and it's the wrong way. So he's going to have to muscle this ball around. And that's too soft. Well, too soft if he was trying to come around short side of the seven. If he was just trying to play for the middle of the table and cut the seven, well, then this is, well, it's a thin cut. No, it's going to get him down table. And up and down and up. Uh huh. I may bank it. Do a follow bank. I think he still might cut it and just let the cue ball go up and down. It's a thin, thin cut. Well, it's banking it. Get out of that side pocket. Is this going to get funny? It looks like it might get a little funny for Lee here. He might have to draw his rock around, three rails around table to come out for the nine. Fortunately, he can cue into the ball here. Do you cut this in the corner or the side pocket? Um, I think I go in the corner and come around three rails. Yeah, I like that. I like that stroke shot. Oh, nice shot. Slow down cue ball. All right, well, this isn't bad. Yeah, this will do. It's definitely capable. Absolutely. Get in there. Nicely so. done. Get, Get out. It is. Out. It's out. All right. Lee steals one back. Two to one. Race to seven. Yeah, you guys that were here last night got to hear some of Darren Walding, the Western BCA president. He's a bit of a character. Just a little bit. He's got some... Colorful anecdotes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Colorful <laughs> metaphors? Yes. Absolutely. Dryer in a West, West Texas town. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's Darren. Mm hmm. Oh, nine on the break. That's a win. That counts. Cue ball still on the table. And just like that, we're all tied up to a piece. I love nine ball. You don't see too many nines on the break using the magic rack. No, you don't. That usually keeps the nine nice and still. Keep, yeah. Gives you a nice tight rack. Nine doesn't move much usually unless something kicks it in, which is what happened here. So if you guys like what we do, you can show that your appreciation by hitting that subscribe button, ring that bell, and share. Share the love. Don't be stingy with your live streams. Let everyone else enjoy too. And keep the comments clean and friendly. Yeah. Family friendly and friendly. Yes. We, you know, we, we, the other day we actually had a couple of uh, minors, juniors, whatever you want to call them, in the chat room, and uh, you know, we we like seeing that that they're because yep. that's you know, without them wanting to learn and understand and being excited about the game, the sport dies. Yeah, some people are of the opinion, oh, this is pool, kids shouldn't be around, but no, pool is for all ages, and there are lots of youngins uh, watching, learning. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Yep. 
Yeah, if you want to grow the sport, encourage them. Ah, Clifford saying, given a way to try and make the nine on the break. Ah. Uh -huh. That's where I break. I always break from the center of the table. <laughs> I break from, uh, I move left and right along that head string until I find the spot where that corner ball goes in the pocket every time. Or, you know, that wing ball goes in the corner pocket. And then once I find that spot, you can't move me from that spot with dynamite. Unless it stops going again. Then I got to find that spot again. But if I'm making the wing ball consistently, I'm not moving. All right, push out by Brad. Yeah, I don't either, Marshall. I, I If I break from the side of the table, um, I actually hit the table with my back hand <laughs> <laughs> following through and... The, well, and if I broke from the from opposite the other, side the of the side table, <laughs> because it's it, it's a bad side for me. And, you know, yeah, no, the side of the table that I need to get my body out of the way, I hit with my hand. The other side of the table, my body's in the way. On the seven-foot diamonds, you don't have to hit the, the rack hard. Just hit it hard enough just to move the balls around a little and, and control your cue ball. No, I like to hit them full whack. But if you find a spot where the wing ball goes, you don't have to hit them hard or full whack. Now, I also have, for some reason, I have a hard time hitting it center um, coming from the side break, and I'll glance off of it or draw mm -hmm. off of it, go into side pocket or, you know, off of the table completely. So, yeah. Side break just doesn't work for me, and I've tried it a lot. All right. Miss by Lee brings Brad to the table. Looking at a tough shot on this one or possible safety. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right. Safety. And, well, he's let him see it. If he can see enough of that one, I like thinning off the right side of the one, bringing this cue ball uh, two, three rails back underneath this two, nine. And, you know, the one ball goes to the left, cue ball back under this two, three, nine area. If he can see enough of that one, if that five isn't blocking. Yeah, um, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, get all the way down there. No, he's hit it just caught it just a little full, which caught caused the cue ball to come in short. Yeah, uh, Martin, it's something along those lines. Filters. Uh, yeah, basically, Martin, that's to cut out the uh, music in the room. If it wasn't for the music playing, then we wouldn't do that. But we're kind of forced to. Necessary evil because of YouTube copyrights and music playing on the jukebox. It's more music here than a jukebox, but whatever. I use the term generically. Yeah. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. All right, nice shot by Lee to get started with. Yeah. See, Sorry. He's going to have to draw up underneath this three ball here or just try and shoot a stop shot. Get Ooh. off of it. 
Oh, well, it kind of, it's got a little bit of a gap. Yeah. Ooh, very little. Yeah, he was pretty straight on that two ball. Fortunately, he does have to cut the three a little, which will allow him to kind of shoot away from the three. So that helps. Holmes versus Marquez. Oh, where are they playing? Uh, Can you tell me which table, Cliff? Holmes, would that be Marvin Holmes? The only Holmes I know of. The only Holmes I know of that would be playing Paul Marquez. Yeah. Uh. No, I'm looking. I mean, I don't see Paul anywhere down the line here. Brookman. Brooklyn Holmes. Oh, okay. Holmes and not Holmes. Oh. Two or three tables up, he says. Ah, uh, it's two. Ah, two tables up. Okay. Yeah, Brookman's at the table right now. In um, the gray shirt. I have table no seven. idea. No idea if they're using the beads. If they are, it's. Uh, Eight five. It's eight five if you're using the beads in favor of who I have no idea. Yeah, we know Martin's a big fan of the overhead. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are too. How can you not? But I got five cameras and I'm gonna use them, damn it. All of them. <laughs> Okay, I have four cameras plus the one provided by Mike Littman. Did you turn that around? Nope. <clears throat> Looks like someone probably knocked it over. Maybe the person that put all those pencils up there. No. Yeah. I need to put a big old keep out sign. Stay away. Don't touch. Keep off the. <laughs> well, if if Brad if had that cue ball rolled like just a few inches more, he could come three rails around and land right between that seven nine. Yeah, now he's gonna be forced to shoot this combination. <clears throat> can we get the overhead so we can see if they're both on the rail? Looks like the nine's off of it just yeah. a hair more. Yeah, if he can uh, roll up and just about. Almost freeze the cue ball to the rail. The, the combination's not too bad. It's doable. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? What's up, Chuck? Well, that's going to be a bit firm, unless he likes shooting these off angle. Ah. Uh. I'd rather be straight in on it. Uh, yeah. Second ball break? Well, you're not allowed to do that in nine ball or ten ball. Must be talking about eight, eight ball. ball. Yeah, eight oh, ball okay, did, okay, did say eight ball. All right. Oh. I'm behind on the chat. I'm a slacker. Nice shot. Straight Who's make in, them both? make both of them. <laughs> nice shot there, Brad. Regaining the lead, three to two. Oh, that was a long game. <laughs> yeah, for these guys. Now the other table is uh, three two. On favor of Greg Taylor over T Tammy Culberson. <laughs> Third ball break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, that five ball ending up in the cue ball return again. It happens. And and with these tables, it's almost always the five ball. For some, for, some, for some reason, the little, the little laser system thinks the five ball looks like a cue ball. Maybe the batteries are weak. Uh, yeah, actually it is <laughs> illegal. <laughs> Hitting the side rail and going into the stack or the end rail, and any rail you're sp is illegal. You got to shoot straight at it. Yep, Gary's second ball break does give you the best chance to make the eight, but the eight is not a win in BCA rules. But in APA, yes, it is. Absolutely. But the only pool league I play is BCA, so that's why I stopped going for the second ball break. Wow, look at all them balls running down the oh. table. <laughs> this is like one of those drill setups where you have to... Shoot this them all. Horrible. Man, that's that's ugly. Not a not a ball within two feet of the rack area. <laughs> don't Snooker says don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> the third ball break, don't knock it till you try it. <clears throat> The old kick behind the rack break. Yep, is illegal. <laughs> Unless you're playing one pocket. Or straight pool, I guess. I didn't read the uh, the rules on those, but uh, yeah, on for for, uh, for the break on uh, one pocket and straight pool and stuff, but for eight ball and nine ball, it says you have to go straight at the rack. You can't, uh, can't bank? Can't go off any rail, straight at the rack. <clears throat> In one pocket, you are allowed to kick at the rack to break. And I've, se I've seen some people do that every once in a while, but it's not real common. Kick off the side rail, cue ball right into the side of the rack and trying to freeze the cue ball on the side of the rack while sending balls towards your pocket. Yeah. And I'm hoping we don't have anybody from the Panhandle of Florida watching. If you are, turn it off and get out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can rewind at least two hours. That's what YouTube's been doing to us the last couple of days is only two hours. <laughs> yeah, Chuck, well, I'll use what works. Well, I mean, in the BCA, you know, if, if you know, if the eight goes, it may not be a win or a loss, but you even, you know, the ball spots, but you get to, con you know, decide whether or not you want to continue shooting. So, you know, you've pocketed a ball mm -hmm. and you get choice. Yeah. This four must slide through there. Yeah, I'm thinking it does. And if it doesn't, you play it off of the nine or just let up play the nine and <laughs> stick the cue ball on the eight ball. No, it looks like the four goes. I know. And then the six gets you right to the seven quite nicely. So they're actually laid oh. out not bad. Yeah, he's Dang. gone just a little far. I think he'll still be okay. I think he can still avoid the nine, come up for the six. Hey, I had an eight. I've uh, got one one time when we played. Uh, when we Kevin and I actually met playing the APA. Um, I got an eight ball on the break pin. So it does happen. Not very often. I got one <laughs> in the how many, you know, years, three or four <laughs> years that I played the APA. Got one. Uh, Marlon, yes, Magic Rack is optional. And 
I believe because they're doing rack for your opponent that uh, both players have to agree to use it. Uh, when it's rack your own, you can use it all you want. You don't you don't need your opponent's uh, permission. Uh, you don't know. Um, um, yeah, I forgot how that works. Well, when it's rack your own, you can use the magic rack. You don't need your opponent's permission. Uh, when it's rack for your opponent, I think you both have to agree to use it. Yeah, and when it's rack your own, um, if you're using one and your opponent doesn't have one and they want to use it, you have to let them use it. Deposited, nice run. <laughs> the rack that looks like a crop circle. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'd be the turtle rack. Kevin and I um, favor the uh, AccuRack, and I actually saw one somebody using the uh, the one that's all for all three games, the AccuRack. Uh. I saw some somebody was using one on the um, on the bonus coverage table yesterday, and I was like, "Cool, they're actually." I think it was when they were practicing over there between match or you know waiting for the first round to start over there. <clears throat> but yeah, I was like, "Hey, somebody with an AccuRack." Yep. I have one for eight ball. Now I just need to get one for one pocket. What, an Accurac? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then I'll get one for straight pull after that, so I have the whole set. <laughs> You can make the eight, eight out of ten times on the break, Chuck. That's pretty darn good. All right, so two balls gone, one to the three. Ah. So more like two out of ten times. <laughs> that's still good. That's, that's a bit of, that's a that's a difference though. <laughs> Nice shot. Nice touch. Uh, videos mean nothing, Marshall Crafting. Just edit out all the breaks where you don't make it. All right, Brad's working on another break and run here. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got a good chance at it, too, with this angle here on the four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's sitting pretty good now. Oh. Uh. It's three o'clock. <clears throat> you told me I had a match coming from here at noon, and I am not seeing any noon matches. I bet you it was gold. Oh. Right. Yeah, Brad's a little bit flat on this angle, but he'll still be okay. And Go forward or backwards. 
Eh, player's preference here, really. But yeah, just draw back to the middle of the table. The only reason I didn't like going forward is that puts that nine ball in play. But handled it nicely. There it is. Just make sure you leave yourself some angle on this eight because you don't want to be straight in. If you're straight in, then you're forced to shoot like the nine on the side, and you'd rather not do that. Oh yeah, don't brush the don't brush the eight with the six either. That could be disastrous. Woo! -hoo. Got away with it. Woo! Woo! Oh, woo! <laughs> right, and he's got some angle. Just one rail straight up, nine in the other corner. Brad's just looking at where does he want that cue ball to be. Is he just rolling this and taking the nine in the side, or is he coming out? He's coming He's out. coming out. Oh, oh. He's all right. He's a player. Ah. He should be able to handle this. Oh, someone bumped that camera. Just a little bit, you think? Not even hardly pointed at the table anymore. Stay away from my equipment. Excuse me. All right, Brad with another break and run. Nicely done. Yeah. Kevin, going to go straighten out our camera. I have two of them that have been moved today from last night when we left here. <clears throat> All right, it's going to be Lee with the break. Here you go, Martin. Here's your overhead view. There you go, Martin. Just for you. Well, and everybody else, too. But no, just it's for ju you. it's just for Martin. Everyone else close their eyes. Nobody home on that one. All right, kick safe. Kick that one out of there. Leave the cue ball behind that cluster of balls. All right, everyone else can open their eyes now. <laughs> oh, one passes the eight here. Oh, does Brad's, it? Oh. Brad's probably going to cut it in. It looks like it does to me. I thought he might be just playing the one into the eight for safe. Nah, that's, that's what a... he's doing, but it looked like it passed it to me. Is he going to leave a window through there? Uh, I don't think so. Doesn't look like a window to me. It's good safe.
This is a nice, nice shot oh, here. Nicely done. Nicely done, Lee. Nice, nice return. To go on one rail with this. Why that? That always scares me that I'm going to scratch when I go one that's that close <laughs> to the pocket. I always get nervous I'm going to scratch. Even though, I mean, I know how to hit a specific side of the ball and all that stuff. I always get nervous I'm going to scratch on those. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Uh oh, mayday, mayday, mayday. Danger Will Robinson. All right, ball in hand for Brad. I think I like shooting the one in the side, roll forward, kind of nudge that four out a little bit to play position for the two, and that kind of loosens up that four, makes it easier to get from three to the four maybe, and gets you nicely on the two. And I think he's going to just avoid touching anything and just roll forward for the two. Want to make sure he doesn't rub that four. Yeah, it's got a little bit of angle. It's going to be. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I'm saying you know nudge that four out a little bit because the four I don't think I don't think the four passes the seven. So no. you're playing when you play from the three from the three to the four. You only you know you're playing for that other corner and mm -hmm. that five is kind of blocking part of that path. So it's just a little bit tight quarters for my liking. Unless that four passes a seven. If the four passes a seven, then that's a non-issue. But no, the angle he's no, played. he's drawing this straight down. Yeah, just you know, like right that. Right Another drambouillon potato salad. Yeah. Grady Matthews color of money. Yeah. Bread's in the way over there, huh? <laughs> Takes up the whole camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to figure this out. What's he going to do? I'm going to slide a couple rails going forward and uh, out of that, that upper right-hand corner there. Oh, get out of there. It did not get out of there. All 
All right, brings Lee to the table with a good chance to get this score tied back up again. Oh, don't leave a dead straight in. I think you left a dead straight in. You can cut it to the right of the pocket mm. just a little bit and draw it straight down that side rail at the seven. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, angles. Got to leave yourself angles. Yeah. Straight in on the nine. <laughs> and off the rail. So it was uh, <clears throat> getting coffee before we started when we got here. You know, the elevator, the, the escalators, the up escalators broken again. Shocker. I know, right? Um, it's such a shocker. Someone named themselves the escalator repair team. The ex uh, it was escalator repairmen. No, okay. It was their team name. Um, so I'm out there talking with uh, Phil Squires for a minute when getting coffee. And one of the pool players comes running up the down escalator, trips at the top of it. Doesn't go all the way back down to the bottom. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> um, and he's like, well, what do they expect us to do? Take the elevator. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> there are stairs right to the right when you walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are stairs and an elevator. Yeah, like the escalator is the only way to get up here or something. He's like, i got to play in like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, taking the stairs would have been better than trying to go up the down escalator. <laughs> no, yeah, he was running up the down escalator and tripped at the top. And, of course, there's somebody from the Chinook Wind, one of the workers there, just kind of shaking her head at him. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, you deserve it. All right, Brad with the break. It's been he's been killing the break. Let's see yeah. if that see if that continues. Ted, no, two balls into the oh get oh get out of there. Man, it was yeah. a nice break. Made the made the wing ball. And then the one behind it followed it right into. <laughs> What's he going to do here? What is Lee going to do? He's going to run him out. Okay. Go get him, Lee. Run him out. Yeah. One to the two to the three is, that's that's the that's the puzzle here. Once he get past that, it's wide open. So. He's got some options. He may just draw back just a little for the, t just to get straight in on the two to the corner. Yeah, and they can just draw back for the three. Yeah, that's probably the easiest. I think that's probably what I like. Just two to the corner. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, and he's got an angle to slide off to that side rail. Yeah, he's got a little bit of angle on the two, so he'll be shooting the three in that same corner as the one ball. And then three to the four, no problem. And from there, it's looking pretty good. Just got to get past this three. Well, and this two. Mm. 
So no gambling bowling with uh, Rick Ooh. Jones. <laughs> he brushed that four, but it, it, it was almost disaster, but it worked out. I'm sorry to hear that if it stops, I see he's got the angle to run around it, but here he can just slide off of it a little bit too, or go forward around it, or whatever he decides to do. Oh, oh no. no. Brad will make you pay for that one. Yeah, trying to cheat that pocket a little, trying to, trying to hold up the cue ball and over cheated it. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Box Patterson. Welcome in. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. So. <laughs> Just high left, come straight back one rail. That's nice. He's got just a little bit of angle. He can follow, just oops, you know, just follow, come down one rail, maybe using that, maybe even using that side rail. I actually prefer to avoid the side rail on this shot. I prefer one rail straight down. Avoid that right side rail because sometimes, every once in a while, you might send that cue ball right into that side pocket. Yeah, one rail just like that. That's a nice shot. Oh no, Brad. Brad, Brad, Brad. There's a big opportunity for Lee to get the. All right, Lee steals one away. Says, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, his first lead of the match. Yeah. Yeah, Brad started out the match with that break and run, and Lee's been trying to play catch up ever since, and now he's finally taking the lead. Well, thank you, Tron Magnet. Be sure to share the links. Yes, please let, do. Let everyone else watch too. And players are on break. Sweet ass, so are we. So we'll be back in a couple minutes.
All right, players are back. We're back. Well, that was a little fortuitous roll there, wasn't it? But yeah, the eight one, yeah, yeah, soft. the eight one nine kind of there, yeah. Yeah, so dry break. Gonna bring Brad to the table. I think he can go forward with some left spin, spin out around that three to get to the two. Maybe, I think. Because it looks like that one's off the rail just a little. Mm-hmm. Can't really tell from this camera angle, but from this one, you can up tell. Up on the big screen, I, you can tell that it's off. And the key ball is on it. Yeah, so you should be able to high left spin around this three. We're going to come between the three eight, but nope. All right, nice, nicely done. Ooh, he got a little too much on it. <laughs> Hit it too good. Yeah, he's going to have to go forward. And he still draw it out of there just a little bit and get, ah. Well, I think you can go forward under the six. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, and uh, out towards the center of the table for the four ball. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just seeing. Yeah, the eight, nine, a little close together, so you got to get you know pretty good on the eight, but the seven's there to get you there, so. Yes, yeah. they're, they're sitting pretty good. Uh, it's just, it's maintaining the proper side of the um, of the angle here. Right? Yeah. Just a matter of staying in line. That uh, looks like uh, Paul Marquez and Brookman are still playing, and it's Hill 8. Well, shame on Brookman, Cliff. He's not <laughs> supposed to be on his phone in a match. Yeah, that's against the rules. Yep. Unless they were on a break when he did it, then he can. <clears throat> Whoa, slow down, cue ball. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, and Paul Marquez just scratched over there with two balls left on the table. Uh. So I guess that makes it 10 9. Yeah, because he's not making uh, Brookman shoot here, and he's supposed to. Make him shoot them all, guys. People miscue. They do all kinds of funny things, and it's the rules. And it's the rules, as you say. All right, Brad coming around three rails, back to the middle of the table, and that looks like it's going to be perfect speed. Nice recovery, Brad, right back in line. Actually, that's perfect. It's like ball in hand position there. Just wants to check his angle on the seven, make sure he leaves himself the correct angle on the seven to get to the eight. So 
I'll like just draw back like maybe an inch or two. Like Yeah. Just just a yeah, smidge. Be sure and go further rather than not drawing it back at all. That's it's a little short. He's going to have to go to the side rail and back out for it, but he can follow forward and get good on this eight. Yeah, he, he underdrew it, and now he's got kind of a funny angle on the seven where yeah. you can't just stop it there. <clears> it's, well, you could then cut the eight and go up and down table to come back for the nine. Yeah, I haven't. And had he overdone it and gone, you know, not not straight in and actually gone a little bit further, he could draw it to the side rail and back at the gate, yeah. off the end rail and back up. When you come short like this, it's a whole lot harder. Uh, the, you know, this is the angle you don't want. Yeah, he's looking at following it forward, going back over between the first and second diamond on the other, on this side rail where he's standing at. Might just shoot the stop shot and uh, cut the eight, go up and down table. Looks like he's putting follow on this. All right, well, if he can. From the, you know, the angle we're looking at here, I'm looking at where he's queuing, and it looks like he's going forward. Just don't overspin it. That's perfect. Oh, he's he hit that nice. That okay. perfect. I guess he had a little bit more angle on the seven than I was thinking. Nicely done. Roll her in. Okay, I think I'd have been hitting that one pocket speed just because. <laughs> we are hill hill on the other table with uh, Tammy with two balls left. On our, on our bonus <laughs> uh, on the, coverage on the table. Bonus coverage, yep, and that's Greg Gregory Taylor and Tammy Culbertson. All right, nice out there, Brad. That was a uh, break and run by Brad again. Another one? Oh. Or no, that was, uh, a <clears throat> was break. A it was a run out from Lee's dry break. Yes. Dry break by Lee, Brad ran out. So it's gonna be Brad's break, Lee's rack. PBS Network. <laughs> <coughs> that Rick that Jones. That Rick Jones. I tell ya. <laughs> yeah, Brad's, uh, he's a solid player. Yeah, I played doubles with Brad a couple of times down here. Yeah, you can definitely do worse for a partner than Brad. Yeah, <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than Brad scratching the break last time, uh, he's really been, he's got the break dialed in pretty good. He's been making the wing ball, controlling the cue ball, and that time, no exception. Oh, uh, that's kind of, well, he does have the breakout. The two can break out that 3-7. And you cut the two and just nudge that seven out of the way. Three ball, it's just, mm. you don't want to run into it here, because that can get issues. Again, I'd ask you to please use the score 
Yeah, that'll work. If it slows. Yeah, he's sitting pretty good on this. Yeah, he just pushed a seven out. Mm -hmm. Barbosa. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Hit that perfectly. Nice shot there, Brad. Well, who did this? What is this? Well, table 10 and table 10, the guy that was just on table 10 is going to be on table 10 again. And just a reminder, well, put up a, go, go put up a different match on 10, I guess. No, well, it's, it's too, too late. late. Too late now. Just narrowly avoiding hitting that seven. At the podium, the small podium, past the bad boys. All right, he's got a shot on the six. He can see it. He's got just enough angle to get out of there.
All right, Brad Hornshaw on the hill. And on the Paul Marquez match, a couple tables up. Looks like Paul has ball in hand. Looks like that game is Hill Hill also. Is it Hill Hill or is it 10-9? Well, the beads say 10-9. Yeah, these players have been really battling back and forth. It's been a tight match. All right, Lee with the break. Nice break by Lee. Oh, that key ball got bumped around. That's a little unlucky. And no look at the one. All right, looks like Paul just defeated uh, Brookman uh, Holmes up there, either 11-9 or 11-10, I'm not sure which. It was close, I know that. All right, push out by Lee, brings Brad to the table. And, oh man, with this huge wall of balls to hide behind, yeah, there's no way Brad's passing this one back. Eh, you're going to jail. All right, safety by Brad. And I think Lee can actually kick that side rail right behind the one over there. Heck, maybe even send the nine for a ride. So welcome uh, people to the chat room that I haven't had a chance to say hi to yet. Uh, Natalie, Scott, Crystal, John, welcome. Thanks for joining. All right, you know Lee's gonna be hitting this with some speed. He wants to get that nine moving. And that was a good effort. Was this gonna freeze on the rail? Well, it's not frozen on the rail, but it's not easily makeable. Brad's probably just gonna play him safe again, just bank that one up table. He's got a wall of balls to hide behind again. Hey Will Totten, how you doing? And Shogun Pool Warrior, howdy, welcome. And welcome Marlaz 1985. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, 
Let's make the one up table. Got one, two, three, four, five balls to hide behind. Like so, and he's going to leave a window. That was a bit unlucky. He hasn't left much of a shot for Lee, though. Possible cut shot to the corner. I think that five might have him, though. Possible bank to the bottom left. He's going for the bank, and that's just a little bit wide. Oh, nice little bump off the two. That helped. And hello, M. Remilio. Welcome. Thanks, Shogun Pool Warrior. Yeah, we're like in that overhead uh, camera too. It's the bee's knees, the duck's guts. Nice hit, and is he going to get safe? Ooh, almost, but no cigar. <laughs> All right, Lee. Let's make this a hill-hill match. We're already behind schedule. Let's go all the way. <laughs> uh, we'll be going to Derby. Um, Streaming out might not be doing that, but recording. That's, uh, yeah, the streaming aspect, that's unknown at this point, but definitely recording matches and posting up later, just like we did earlier this year. And hopefully yeah, working on getting some more tables, too. And thanks, uh, Darren. We're working on that second table, getting it all set up. Yeah, I don't know um, who won the first game. That's why I don't have it scored. It's one nothing, but I don't know who won. If somebody watching knows who won, give a shout in the <laughs> chat room, and we'll update the score. Darren, do you know who won? Yeah, or I'm going to have to wait for this game. Greg won. Greg won. Okay. Thanks, Darren. Even though he's left a shot for Brad, this is still not going to be an easy out. That uh, no, that six eight are ugly. No offense to Cyclops pool balls; they're uh, just they're just ugly. He does have three different balls around there between now, you know, between now and the six to you know loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, she missed uh, that. Uh, Tammy missed that uh, nine ball. Um, now you're also talking about um, the lowest division. People with Fargo rates under 400, or just at 400. 
they're going to miss uh, Hill Hill. That's a lot of pressure on the camera. You know, everybody watching, it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, people at that skill level, some, you know, can't handle that. I mean, I miss shots, too. You know, for, <laughs> forget about lowest skill level. Uh, uh, you see pros miss uh, yeah. shots like that. When, when it's Hill Hill, funny things happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, pre the pressure is real no matter what your level. And she was up on him the whole match. And up Does until he shoot miss three? I hope he's not shooting a three. The two's on the table, Brad. That's a foul. And uh, Lee is coming right to the table immediately. He says, hey, you sh there's a two ball over there still. Wow. Um, I'm like I was saying, the pressure's real. Yeah. <laughs> Still, even with ball in hand, this is not going to be an easy out. You got to no. move that six eight. And you know, when Brad's shooting that three ball, got rid of one of those balls. It's you know, good. Po yeah, possible breakout ball. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was the one you probably would have wanted to use to break it out. Yeah, they're color coded too, guys. <laughs> they're not just they're they're not just numerical, they're color coded. Um actually Tony, I would and I have done it. I've done it in this tournament when I see somebody shooting the wrong ball. But you know, it, it, that's on you. It's you as a player up there at the table should know what you're supposed to be shooting at, but I do tell people But, you know, they all paid good money to get, be down here and everything. You know, some people are just like, I'm keeping my mouth shut. I want to win just as much as you do. Oh, no, get out get of there. Get out of there. This is simple three little, you know. Yeah, with ball in hand, this cluster is no longer a problem. Six in the side, eight in the other side. Yeah, so uh, I've actually done, you know, told people playing at tournaments here and other places. Uh, wait a minute. I did it in league against one of my friends. He says, I wouldn't have said anything. And, well, that's you and me. You know, I will always call a foul on myself. But telling them they're shooting the wrong ball, not necessarily. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, sometimes, too, I mean, there's a, probably a couple people on the planet that I wouldn't say anything to. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I've just, I've always, you know, I can't control it. But, hey, wait a minute. Two balls <laughs> on the table, you know? Yeah, Brad was setting a trap. That's right, Will. <laughs> it was so advanced, Lee had no idea. Usually you look for yeah. traps, you know, and stuff when you get yeah, But no, that one was got, so advanced. Got totally leveled there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this nine for the match. And next match will be up right away. They are in the wings here waiting. Yep, they got their stuff ready and waiting. Ready. Ready to go. Ready and waiting. That's what I'm trying to say. There you go. All right, Brad defeating Lee 7-5. This was an A-side match, so Lee's still alive. Yep. Thanks for watching. We'll have another match up right away.